I was right. It is actually uh, a very Debussy inspired. I mean, to be honest, like when I heard the, uh, it almost sounded like more like um, pictures at an exhibition. The da 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 thing. Introducing a goose as the goose. Shots of the entire village as people reflect on what they learned, which was nothing. Panic, Japan! Nobuhiro Hasegawa and Kenichi Yoshida are here! Well, yeah. Do you remember when she had to price things? I remember when she had to price things. Aw. Oh, listen to that sound. It's the sound of my youth reflecting on things I did when I was younger. Ha, <laughs> dick hog. Our mums and dads and siblings. Aw. This game was made on the lands of the Wurundjeri people of the Kutlan Nation. We pay our respects to their elders. Sovereignty was never ceded. What? Um, I'm guessing that they're supporting some sort of independence movement. I will honk again. Wait, what? New game plus? Bullshit. Oh, no. Alrighty, well. Um, I guess we'll try to do a couple of these. So we need to do Cabbage Picnic. Trip the boy in the puddle. Uh, lock the groundskeeper out of the garden. Okay, well, yeah, some of these shouldn't be super difficult. Can I close? How do I close the garden? All right, it's easy enough. But how do I lock him? That's the trick. Um, yeah, to lock him out of the garden, I would need to close the gate while he also has the keys... Uh, well, I also have the keys, uh, on, like, this side. So, that's not too hard. I just need to put a carrot here. And then a carrot. Wow, this guy got distracted. He gave up on carrot quickly. It's like he doesn't care at all. Alright, if I put two carrots over here. Uh, alright, so he's gonna be distracted. Okay. Go find the carrots, dude. Wow. Is it seriously the case that the game is, like, easier in the beginning insofar as, like, the AI is, like, that much weaker? Like, the gardener AI is, like, pathetic. Boop. Uh, did this locked it, right? This had to have done it. Yeah, you don't you don't got no keys. You ain't got no keys, buddy. You are you are power fucked. Um Yep, okay, well, cabbage picnic, eh? What the hell? These cab I these cabbies are so big. That's the wrong thing. What? There was a secret route the entire time? Okay, well, we're gonna push that cabbage out. And a uh, contribution from chat is, have the groundkeeper never heard of hopping a fence? Which, you know what? That's a really, really good point, which is like, he could have just jumped over the fence. Well, I guess he is a video game character. And as we all know, Video game characters tend to not be able to jump over anything that's like greater than knee high. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna get that cabbage, and okay, we're gonna get it. All right, we're gonna run this bad boy all up over. No. Okay. Okay, this is fine. I can work with this. I did not realize that there was a hill here, but that's okay. This is good. This is good. Okay, let's run the cabbage. No. All right. Who doesn't love soggy cabbage picnic? Boy, oh boy. This is, uh... 
graceful. All right, let's waddle over to the, come on. All right, here we go. Okay, sneaking it is much worse than, than just pushing it along. Okay, this cabbage, this cabbage is actually pissing me off. Okay, come on. Here. I don't, I don't understand, like, how every single area can just slope down to the river. What is this? Geology? Stupid. Okay, this is, okay, come on, get off the bench. Okay, come on, get off the bench. There. I, okay, I didn't mean to climb the cabbage. I don't wish to mount the cabbage to assert my dominance. I'm just trying to get the cabbage over to the picnic. Huh? No. Okay, here we go. Come on. Oh, fuck. Okay. Good. He didn't, he didn't seem to care about the cabbage. Okay. Okay, come on. Get that, get it over to the picnic blanket. Just push it. Just push it slightly uphill. Okay. Okay, good. Get that shit over there. Goal. Okay. No. This is so hard. This is really, really annoying. I don't like... Th this is more annoying than the goose itself. Nailed it. Okay, trip the boy in the puddle. Oh, yeah. This is gonna be great. Gonna make that child regret that he ever existed. Okay, what about... Okay, good. The door's already open. Perfect. Alrighty, child. Your shoes are laced. Okay. Okay, child. Go into the water. Child, I demand that you go into the water. Water, child. Okay. Hi. Come here. Nope. Nope. You're gonna go into the water. There you go. There. Perfect. Wait, can I? Okay. We're gonna we're gonna give this guy uh, a a real um a real upgrade in his looks here. Yeah. Yes. Uh, broom it good. Broom it good. Come on. Give me the shades. There we go. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Alrighty, perfect. And here we go. This kid's gonna become a real chick magnet. And I mean that uh, in that he's gonna be a magnet to all the, um, all the geese. Okay, make the shop scales go ding. All right, I guess I need to put something on the scale. How would I do that? Yeah, okay. I guess I just need to put something heavy on the uh, on the scale. So, um, what's a fairly heavy thing? Uh, don't know. Let's uh, let's just put something on there and see what I can do. All right, that wasn't nearly heavy enough. Um, what about this? Is this gonna be heavy enough? Nah, it's, it's too heavy. I can't pick it up. Um, all right. These things seem kind of heavy. There we go. Yeah, that's that's a nice... Uh, it's made out of metal. It's, um... It's pokey. It didn't land on the thing, so it didn't, like, actually impart any weight. Okay, here we go. Okay. So I need to weight it down with, like, huh. I don't, I don't know if there's a single solitary item that's going to be heavy enough to weight down the scale by itself. So maybe I need to get, like, a couple of different things? I'm not entirely sure. Um... Because I don't imagine that, like, a tomato is going to make that much of a difference. 
Okay, it seemed to, you know, maybe about like, oh jeez. I guess it, uh, hmm. The pumpkins? Yes. They'll be heavy enough. Pumpkins are, are, are nature's, um, are nature's, uh, big boys. Oop. Nope. Hang on. Hang on. Okay. Good. That's two things. Three things. No! Madam! Madam, I wish to- I wish to make your ding. Okay, so she's gonna be distracted now with chalk. Uh, and my character- my goose is gonna be really, really annoying. Okay, here we go. Yes! Chalk! Chalk is your high priority right now. Pay attention to all of the chalk. Whilst scales go ding! Perfect. Okay, open umbrella inside the TV shop. All right. We have some umbrellas up there. She's going to be busy uh, dealing with those things. And... No, no, no. Ah! What? Uh, I understand that umbrella is of a very high concern to you, but have you considered broom? I don't believe she has considered broom. Now, uh, this objective really only counts if I do it with the very silly rainbow umbrella. Nothing else, uh, I mean, everything will technically solve the puzzle, but, like, this truly captures the spirit of solving it. She's just wondering where it went. She doesn't know that I took it yet. Okay, good. Fantastic. So, what do I need to do, then? That kid is so fucking swag. God damn, I wish I was as cool as that child. I am not. All right. So how do I open it? I believe I just do that. Okay, how do I make it um, closed? I don't know, but I do know how to get into the shop. Hello, child. I believe that you need to go pull a clock, Kent. Go into the phone booth and become a superhero. Yes. Yes, perfect. Okay. He's gonna go, let the child out, and then... Come on. Come on. There it is. I have, well, I didn't open it up inside the, that's annoying. That should count, it's in there, it's open. But I pressed the freaking wrong button. Hang on, is he gonna, is he gonna close it? Okay, good. That? <laughs> I understand that this is a very, very high priority action item for you. There it is. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, that was awesome. I just did like a double reach around, like, um, like handle, handle grab. Nice. Real nice. Make someone from outside the high street buy back their own stuff. All right, this is gonna be a bit of a project, isn't it? Well, I guess I can... I guess I'll make Rose Guy uh, buy stuff. That shouldn't be too hard. All I need to do is just like go grab one of his slippers and then run off with it a whole bunch. And uh, maybe I can juggle a couple of different items. Ah, that's way too much work. Point is, I think I'll, I'll try to make this guy buy one of his slippers again eh? can I just go through it okay that's right actually his pipe yes I'm oh wait I know what I'll do I will 
I, I, I know what I'll do. I'll, I'll, I'll take one of his items from him and uh, put it in place so that it's already there in the shop and he has to buy it. Uh, and then I'll grab a second item and then um, lure him back with that second item. That way, this will be like significantly easier. So what I'm going to do is I'm definitely going to take the pipe because I don't believe uh, in him, him having some sort of addiction. Uh, well, as you can see, this clearly did not work super well. However, you can't catch up with me. I am the fastest goose to have ever lived. All right, perfect. So now that I got this, which by the way, still fucking hilarious to see a goose running around with a pipe. Um, now that I got this, all we need to do is just put this onto uh, the lady's shelf. There it is. It's now something that uh, is technically in her stock. All right, perfect. Now that I've done that, that's step one. Step two is to get the man to buy the thing. So that shouldn't be too hard. I just need to find some way of maintaining his attention all the way through here. So what I'm thinking I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if I can just open up this gate over here. Oh, that might be an issue. Yeah, I didn't think of this. I don't know if I can get that guy to move all the way over to the shop. Well, um, hmm. I mean... Let's see. Are you gonna do anything about me? Hmm. Well, let's see. Okay, I'm gonna try to take something now and instead of just running away abjectly, let me see if I can uh, get him to chase after me and like actually try harder. Yeah? No! What the fuck? How dare you? Don't have magic, like, powers to steal shit from, uh, through fences? That's not allowed. Fences are the most impervious structure known to human and duck kind. Alright, so if I'm over here, is he just gonna give up? Or is he gonna try and, like, come after me? Let's see. Uh, yeah, I think that, I think that of all the characters I could have chosen, this one is not a good one. All right. Well, um, who's a, another good candidate then? What the hell is this? A fishing lure? Hmm. That's probably a secret objective I'm gonna have to deal with later. All right, um, cool. So what do we want to do? The gardener would probably be significantly easier than trying to pull somebody from all the way over here, but that seems fairly boring. I don't know. Maybe I could do the old man. Oh, that was phrased very, very poorly. Hi. There we go. Yeah, we're definitely gonna, we're definitely gonna, um, we're definitely gonna have our way with the old man. I mean, um, use him. You, you use we're gonna use the old man stuff 
Uh, that guy's bum is red. Is that what they say in 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 the colonies? Bum. Is that like on on the queen's dollars? Is it like in 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 bum we trust? I don't know what I'm saying right now. I'm sorry. All right. So what is the old man value? Uh, probably like stupid crap like time with his grandchildren, or like appreciating the little things in life. You know, stupid shit. Um. Hi. Uh, but I think that one thing that is a material good that he cares about is that harmonica. And that harmonica is my harmonica. He's old. He can't catch up to me. He caught up to me. Alright, what other things does this person value? I guess darts. So, we'll definitely dash off with the harmonica. And then... Uh, let's see. We'll make him buy his harmonica back. And he's gonna be like, but I'm retired and my harmonica costs every... Um... Cost... Uh, it's the most... It... It... it uh... I can't afford it. I can't afford to pay for, for harmonica lessons. And I'll be like, well, you know, this is why I got social security. Perfect. All right. Time to play a song. Damn it. Uh. Wonder what sort of havoc it could wreak over here. Wreck, not reek. Reeking havoc was uh if if you got a smelly havoc. Anyway, um yeah, so harmonica is definitely a good call. Uh and then I guess if I wanted to piss off the old man and make him run all the way back to the high street. I would probably use, like, one of his darts or something. Um, yeah, that seems kind of reasonable. Or perhaps a, a, a tomato. And, like, just keep, I don't know, juggling the tomato and uh, forcing him to... to maybe, I'll, maybe I'll just try to, like, get two tomatoes and, like, bring them all the way back. I don't know. We're definitely going to do it with the harmonica, though. So we have the pipe, which I guess we'll just take off that spot and then replace it with this thing. And then we got a little bit of a journey to walk back. And then uh, I get to try to come up with something to talk about for like um, four minutes while I work all that out. Uh, that's a shame. So, uh, yeah, been doing a lot of job interviews lately in that I've been interviewing people lately. I've met a lot of people and they come from backgrounds and uh, some of them have some really good potential for synergization. Big, big fan. Big fan of some of the uh, uh, real strong synergization capabilities that I've seen coming out of the youth of today. Gen Z, more like... Well, you can't spell synergize without Gen Z. Because I think all of the letters of Gen Z are present in the word synergize. 